What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that salamangrate subscribe and notification bell button as we keep on climbing even higher and higher the 1100 ladder i really do appreciate all the support now i want to show this off and i want to give a quick disclaimer uh number one yes the extra deck for the salamangre top four list only had 14 cards number two if he did say that there was a 15th card that he would put in, I don't speak Spanish. So I have no idea what was said in the video. I do have to give a shout out to Ready to Duel, though, because they're already putting up deck lists from this event. So I figured I would at least show off the salad list and all y'all Salamander Great experts can, you know, talk about this deck and what y'all would change because I don't know shit about salad. I haven't played the deck since the deck first came out. <laughs> so, yes, 42 card main deck, 14 card extra deck, 15 card side. Uh, let's just go ahead and dive on into this here because this is really interesting so uh, we're playing <laughs> not only three nibiru but also three ash three baylor three imperm and two droll so we're playing what three six nine uh 12 13 14 fucking hand traps lord have mercy so that's all your hand traps uh we're playing one griffin rider three jack jaguar three water enchantress with the one of gazelle three flame buffalero uh two spinny one foxy uh we already mentioned the ash and then we're playing three copies of microcoder again we already mentioned the hand traps only one copy of Rite of Aramiser with the one Dracoback and one and the one Faithful Venture. You know, typically you see two, sometimes even three copies of Aramiser and the Water Enchantress. But I mean, when Water Enchantress basically acts like a Rite of Aramiser, being able to get it from deck or grave to hand, the only thing that you really have to worry about is the one copy of Aramiser being banished. Like if you go against like a Rise Heart or something in the Kashtira matchup. But I mean, you've got Nibiru for that, so you should be winning the ball game anyway. And you have Imperms to stop the Arise Heart on your turn, all that fun stuff. So that, that's probably my guess as to why he only played one copy. Uh, we're playing two copies of Sign at Mining. One copy of Call By, because we don't want to get hand-trapped. Uh, three Circle, we already mentioned the uh, Adventure Engine. The one of Salamangrate Sanctuary Field Spell with the three Imperm. And of course, the Sign at Conflict, which is basically an Infernity Barrier. Uh, for the extra deck, we're playing one Mirage Stallio, one Access Code, one Trans Code, one Heat Soul, one Update Jammer, one Phoenix, with the two Sunlight Wolf, the two Splash Mage, the one Link Spider with the two Bay Links, and then the one of Lingaribo. Then for the side deck, we're playing the one of copy of Pankratos with two Rageki, one Feather Duster, and two Dark Hole, which, I mean, you don't really care about your monsters getting destroyed because you could just banish the Bay Links to save it. So, really interesting seeing Dark Hole, of all things, come back into Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2023. We're playing three copies of Twin Twister, three copies of Deep Barrier, and then three copies of Anti-Spell. No um, Royal Decree for, like, Labyrinth or uh, Trap Tricks. You know, a lot of people going into this weekend, especially at my locals, were talking about, like, Royal Decree's busted. you got to play Royal Decree. And this particular build isn't playing uh, Royal Decree. Maybe the cash tier list, if we ever get that, will be playing Royal Decree. I'm curious to see what that has. But, ladies and gentlemen, I typically don't do deck profiles like this. At least I haven't in years. Um, but I at least want to put this one up because I know a lot of people were looking for the Salaman Great list. So, let me know what you guys think about this list. Like I said, I don't know much about Salad, so I, I need y'all to explain to me down in the comments if this is a good build or not. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.